Hello and welcome to another episode of This Is Boxing Talk with Mr. White. This time around I'm going to talk about Scott Fitzgerald versus Ted Cheeseman. I'll start off by saying I'm absolutely shocked. Why am I shocked? Eddie Hearn, Cheeseman put on a boxing clinic. <laughs> No, he didn't. Just because Cheeseman changed his tactics and at times, you know, Fitzgerald had to chase him around the ring. Doesn't mean that Cheeseman won. At no point did I feel like Cheeseman took over the fight. He had a few good flurries where I thought, yeah, he might be edging this round. But then Fitzgerald responded and kind of took the round back in my eyes. Do you know what I mean? Scott Fitzgerald, as usual, clean work. And actually, Cheeseman threw quite a few punches that didn't land. But I can imagine standing at ringside, you probably thought they landed. Which is why I feel like Sky probably had a bit of bias commentation. But... Aside from that man, I felt like they were talking out their ass half the time, especially in the first two thirds of the fight. They did start to show a bit of appreciation for what Scott Fitzgerald was doing, but even still man, I just felt like they were running a narrative there and I wasn't buying it, which is why I think it was a round in. I turned the sound down because I just felt like I'm not listening to these guys. I don't listen to anybody. I see what I see and I make my opinion there. Anthony Fowler, when they asked him, he said uh, Scott Fitzgerald looked flat. Maybe a little bit, but doesn't mean Ted Cheeseman won that. Do you know what I mean? Like, and Dave Caldwell, he had Cheeseman up, I'm not buying that either. The fact that he stormed off man, there's a lot of passion in the game and people put their whole life and soul into it, you know. Not being able to spend time with the kids and other stuff, missing out on other situations, family events and that. But Cheeseman's young man, when he looks back at that fight, maybe not now but in a couple of years, he'll recognise that he got outboxed and outclassed in the ring there. Scott Fitzgerald very humble, even he at the end of that fight, like he knows how he felt in there so he said he had to dig deep, fair play. But from the outside looking in, if he wasn't himself and he um, watched the fight, he'd probably see what I saw in it. You know, on YouTube people saying Cheeseman got robbed, how the hell did he get robbed? At no point in that fight did I feel like he was the champion in there. The words composure and ring generalmanship spring to mind when I think of Scott Fitzgerald fighting last night. In the later rounds, I think it was after, like, Cheeseman had a good round eight. Felt like he was edging that, but even still, it wasn't a definite round for him, do you know what I mean? And um, I think it was round nine. They had some really good exchanges where Cheeseman, I don't know if it was because he got tired or he just reverted back to his style, but he stood in the middle of the ring, exchanged with uh, Fitzgerald. And I couldn't really see who won them exchanges do you know what I mean? Like it was just a bit of uh, trading. But even still, man, even if you called that a level round, there's no way Cheeseman won the fight, man. Point blank. As per usual, people just aren't seeing what Fitzgerald's doing. I think he'll beat Anthony Fowler in the rematch again. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, he had to chase a lot of the work in the fight with Cheeseman with Fowler. He didn't, but he took a lot of heavy blows in that fight against Fowler. He had some uppercuts and a few good shots that Cheeseman did like knock his head back but that wasn't enough to win rounds do you know what I mean overall I feel like um, Fitzgerald just handled the fight much better Cheeseman even slipped over at one point when he was um, caught near the ropes it's just tiredness in it you're gonna do that when you're bouncing around the ring and that for most of the fight and in the later rounds I think it was like 11 12 you know Fitzgerald was catching him up to the ropes for brief spells Cheeseman was just bouncing and in the last round I don't even know if he threw like four punches Cheeseman so how the hell are you scoring a guy that's not even connected no punches around in it you know what I mean just biasness to me obviously Cheeseman say our oh, Sky Sports are against me they were in his favour man I feel like if anything their campaign was against Fitzgerald blatantly you know what I mean so I hope he listens to this and take on board what I'm saying because at the end of the day he's a good fighter man he'll come back without a doubt man but Fitzgerald's a more rounded fighter and he knows how to engage and step back out of situations man so for the first couple of rounds Cheeseman's feet you know probably dictated how people felt about the fight and that because he was bouncing around the ring and that but you know it's a situation of Joseph Parker versus Hubie Fury but obviously Fitzgerald got the fight and took it to him didn't he do you know what I mean whereas Hubie Fury man he was bouncing around the ring to them think that he won the world title man sorry but that's a bit of um, over delusion in it it's good to believe in yourself but at the end of the day man you need to start looking at reality for what it really is because Hubie Fury didn't win that fight and Cheeseman didn't win this fight be a good fight however it comes out of this i'd like to see fowler versus cheeseman actually to be honest because i do feel like uh, fitzgerald's just a league above them two not everybody i don't feel like respects his um his style is very neat you know what i mean he wastes very minimal energy even when he's chasing down his opponent so let me know what you think in the comments do you think cheeseman won it or do you think fitzgerald won it rightfully so peace one one